His opponent, Serik Konakbaev, Soviet Union, 22 years of age, from Alma Ata, a very accomplished boxer. This is a gold medal opportunity for Mark Breland in his very first international tournament. Mark Breland has been so impressive, he has to be a candidate for the Outstanding Boxer Award. Here is the first bell. It seems to me, based on what we know of him and what we have seen of him, that Serik Konikbaev of the Soviet Union may very well be the toughest opponent that Mark Breland has ever faced. A silver medalist in the 1980 Olympics at 139 pounds, the 79, 80, and 81 national champion, and the 1981 World Cup. He has indeed been around. And one of those he defeated to get to the final round was a tough one, Angel Hernandez of Cuba. Mark Breland recovered some from the sore knuckle on his right hand and was completely willing in the semifinals to use that right hand with devastating effect. Breland now opening the bout here against Konek Bayev, moving more than he did in his win against Zelanka of West Germany in the semifinal. Let's check now the judges, the five of them for this bout. Uganda, Colombia, Korea, Singapore, Australia. Mark Rabi of Egypt is the referee. Breland moving easily. And Gorek Bayev. Coming pretty much at it. But Ikbayev is from Alma Ata. And if you haven't been there, don't worry about it. I have. Mark Breland, of course, from Brooklyn. His first international tournament. He won the 1982 national championship at 147 pounds, stopping Lewis Howard in the second round. There's a quick left. Always out there, it seems. And the right hand can follow with such explosive devastation. Pretty good left hand popped into Breland's face by Konik Bayev. Breland has the edge in reach by a couple of inches. Stands about almost three inches taller at 6'2". Breland picking away that quick left hand, using his feet there. Solid left jab into the face of the Soviet boxer. What it by right, getting to the side of Breland's head. He leaned away from it and took away some of the impact of it. Mark's right hand, high on the side of the head. If you're looking for your first... Dallas Morning News, 3 a.m. And relief. Round two. Mark Breland in the blue. Sarah Konek Bayev of the Soviet Union in the red shirt. Breland moving well in the first round. Chant in the background now from the Soviet section here at Olympic Hall in Munich. Mark Breland telling us that he had seen Konik Bayev and he's of the opinion that sooner or later he's gonna, when he makes a move inside, drop his left hand, which he has a habit of doing, and open the door for Mark's right hand. But so far, he has not done that. That little right uppercut found him. And he got a bit of blood, blood on the side of the face of Konik Bayev. I think that, however, is the result of that constant left hand from Breland in his face. Loring Baker of Atlanta, Georgia, president of the American Boxing Federation, leading the delegation over here. And of course, Colonel Don Hull is the president of the International Federation, our EBA. Silverglade has been the manager of the team. Rolla Schwartz over on the technical committee. Good right hand by Konik Bayev. 
missed with that one as Breland got away. So the Soviet boxer now trying to up the pace a bit here in round number two. There's a left hook that almost got Breland. The right hand is on the side of the head. So Kodak Bayev now doing more scoring here in the second round. Welter waits for the gold medal. Good right hand. That was the opening that Breland had been looking for, and he got Kodak Bayev on the jaw with it. Didn't have a lot of leverage on it, but it was a very clean, sharp punch. A little nosebleed for Koenig by up now. And a little less than a minute to go in round number two. Koenig by up with a right. Freeland knocks him flat with a right hand. And Koenig by up stun gets up. Looks into his corner, trying to shake it off. You've got 35 seconds to go in the second round. Kodak Bayev getting a little time there from the referee as he had ducked his head. We've had one instance where a butt figured heavily in the fight, and they don't want it to happen again tonight. All right, one more. And he could lose a point. It's been a rough round. The last minute's been pretty rough for Koenig Bayev. He did all right the first two minutes, but then Breland found him with that big right hand, and he's in trouble with 10 seconds to go. Referee getting pretty involved in it and probably helped Koenig Bayev shake off the impact of the right hand, and the second round is over, and it's a good one for Breland. Well, based on what we have seen, I would think that Mark Breland is just three minutes away from a gold medal, his first in international competition. He's been struggling all along with that sore right hand, but you'd never know it, because in the fury of competition, he's just simply gone beyond it and ignored it. Pat Mappy and George Washington with him right there. In slow motion now, the right hand of Breland. Clashing to the face of Kodak Bayev, another right hand. He starts to yield, and then the third right hand puts him down for an eight count. And it was a decisive right hand that decked him. So there is concern in the Soviet corner, and there is some degree of confidence, surely, in the Breland corner. Mark stands up and gets ready to answer the bell. What a big moment it is for this 19-year-old. We go to round three, and immediately we're all interested in whether or not Koenig Bayev has shaken off the impact of the right hand that dumped him on the seat of his britches from Breland with 35 seconds to go in that second round. He looks all right. This is a man that's got a lot of gold in his trophy chest at home. He's been everywhere and done a lot of things. This is Mark Breland's first outing in a major international tournament. Breland has had uh, four fights. Kodak Bayev only three to get to the finals. Open glove there. Got to use the white knuckle portion. Breland, I would think, if he wins this fight, is a very good candidate for the Outstanding Boxer Award. He has defeated Kuskula of Sweden, stopped in the second. Chibataru of Romania, knockout in the first. Beat Danya of Hungary and Zelanka of West Germany, decisively. I've got to think he's a prime candidate for oh. the Outstanding Boxer Reward. Oh. The nose of Konik Mayev leaking again. Breland continues to cover him with that long left. And now Mark moving very well. You notice he'll throw that right hand quite a bit but uh, for effect as he continues to stab and jab and stick with that left. But then once in a while, he'll load that right hand and it comes so quick and with such power, velocity. That left is solid right there. The 22-year-old from Omaha, frustrated now. Can't find him. Oh, oh. Breland, the will of the wisp. 
Gets a word from the Egyptian referee for Ducky. Just under a minute to go now in the third round. Out comes that piston like Jeff. Pop, 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 pop the left in Konik Bayek's face all the time. While right. And inside, Konik Bayek is unable to reach Freeland. Right hand is high on Freeland as he moves away from it. The referee taking time to mop him a little bit. Coming up on 20 seconds to go in the fight. This could be the second gold medal for the American boxing team. Floyd Favors won the first one. Pretty good right by Koenig Bayef, but a better one by Breland. And the seconds now winding down. Box stops when the referee talks to the boxers. Now here it is. The end of the fight at 147 pounds. And my opinion is it was a clinic by Mark Breland. We'll see how the judges felt about it. The coaches embracing Mark in the corner is home coach George Washington there along with Pat Nappy. The judges are Uganda, Colombia, Korea, Singapore, and Australia. And uh, they take just a few seconds here to get the balance marked and get them passed around and put in front of the international jury where they are double-checked. The two fighters have now been called to the center of the ring, and we're ready. Unanimous decision for Mark Freeland. So the young man comes from Brooklyn and is...